there are signs of it everywhere. Airfares to used cars. Consumer prices have surged 5.4% over the past year, the sharpest rise since 2008, the year of the last great economic crisis before COVID-19. You could be forgiven for thinking that inflation was a thing of the past. Despite interest rates being ultra low for more than a decade now, inflation has also stayed low. But the US arguably has too much of a good thing right now, an economy that's roaring back to life after it was shattered by COVID-19. And in some cases, inflation being driven by a classic case of demand outstripping supply. The US Federal Reserve's aim is to keep inflation at around 2%, a figure considered optimum for sustainable growth. But its head, Jerome Powell, told lawmakers that once you strip out these price surges for industries witnessing pent-up demand, inflation won't be a problem. With inflation having run persistently below 2%, we will aim to achieve inflation moderately above 2% for some time, so that inflation averages 2% over time and longer-term inflation expectations remain well anchored at 2%. Investors seem to preempt that sentiment. The S&P 500 stock market hit yet another record high just hours before Powell spoke as some of the world's biggest companies announced impressive earnings. People are expecting a gains for the S&P in earnings of over 50% this quarter. So investors are expecting a pretty good season. But if the economy is on course to reach full employment again, the Fed is concerned that some people laid off in the pandemic have effectively given up looking for work. One reason it plans to maintain interest rates at their current lows for both employers and consumers. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.